Morscombe and the surrounding area is situated at the easternmost edge of Brighton, with a population of 5,000 people living in the Morscombe Community Market catchment area. It's an area of high deprivation, and most recent figures, all pre-COVID, make for pretty shocking reading. 37% of the children here were living in poverty, compared with just 17% across the rest of England. 21% of people aged 16 to 24 were in full-time employment, compared to 39% across the country. And 44% of households have no car, and that compares with just 26% across the rest of the country. I'm Kate Knight and I'm one of the councillors for the ward in Brighton called Moscombe and Bevendeen. Prior to being elected, I'd read an article by Jay Rayner about setting up community social supermarkets, with the idea being that it was a move away from the charity option of food banks, where people get what they're given and have to be grateful, um, but they get to choose and they get to shop, they pay a small amount, they shop, and I thought that was a really good idea. However, and perhaps surprisingly, the percentage of people who are satisfied with living in Moleskoe is over 85%, which is higher than the 79% average across England. But this really chimes with the sense of shared history, belonging and community that we see every single week at our market. I was on my little, you know, my snip out things to do, my projects. And then Covid came along and I got involved in delivering emergency food parcels. It was clear that there was a huge number of people at that time relying on emergency food being delivered to them for nothing. So we moved the operation over to here. And when it became clear that we were at one point moving out of the lockdown, we did a survey to say to people, what would you like? And the idea of a market where people paid something and had choice was by far and away the most popular. People are very uncomfortable about being given food that, if I'm really honest, middle class people think they want to eat. It's not a negative thing to come to one of these places. It helps you out, it puts food on your table. You're guaranteed that every week that you've got something to go and get and feed. And it's not just food, it's toiletries, it's everything that you need. I think everybody should benefit from it, no matter who you are. <laughs> Beautiful. Kate's done a great job here. I mean, if it wasn't for her and her volunteers, like the families wouldn't get half of what they get now. You see different people from different walks of life, and some people you sort of think that they're okay and they're not. It's very rewarding to see how pleased people are. Do you know what? It, it's it seems to be a no-brainer to be doing this sort of thing. It, it, it's so good. Uh, it makes a big difference to a lot of people. And so I would really hope that other community groups catch on because, you know, to not do it, you're missing a trick, really. And it's good for all sorts of people. There's a great atmosphere now. We've got over 120 members. It's really brought the community to life. Buzzing, you know, and we have people who wouldn't eat if it wasn't for us, and we have people that for whom their money goes a bit further because of us. So it's not only about people in abject poverty that come to us, it's a community resource. It enables people to have a little bit more dignity about, about accessing low cost food or sometimes free food. It also brings some sort of spirit to the community. The community market opened in September 2020 and arose from the needs generated by the pandemic. But sadly, due to a massive increase in recent demand, we had to temporarily close our membership at the end of November last year and we now have a growing waiting list. So I work for Morrison's in St James's Street. Through the Covid and the pandemic, we were allowed to go out more in the um, community and help out 
So that's how we got involved with Kate. I'll see you tonight. Yes. Is it five o'clock? Yes. Outside Nando's? Yes. We currently supply 93 households, which represents 156 adults and 115 children. And of those households, 33 have signed up since the cut to universal credit was announced. My name is Lloyd Russell Moyle. I'm the Member of Parliament for Brighton Kemp Town, which includes Malscombe here. I think what's been so important um, is to see the community get together to build something that is not just around charity, but it's around self-help and it's around dignity where everyone pays in to be able to feed themselves and the community um, and to be able to run something that brings the community together. It's about people choosing the food that they're happy with, they're comfortable with. And food is really important for a community. It's not just about surviving, but it's hopefully about thriving in a beautiful community here in Morscombe. Thank you all from the bottom of our heart, and I think we've done good. Well done. Yeah.